Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all have had a great weekend and are looking forward to a good week ahead of you or are behaving yourselves. Um, hold on. I just realized there was something playing that should not have been playing. Uh, hold on. Where is that coming from? You may not hear it because I think I have the channel that's coming through muted. Where is that coming from? Interesting. Okay, whatever. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I know. I know it wasn't coming through for you guys, but it was absolutely there was something playing in my ears that should not have been playing. Uh, but anyway, it's done now. Anyway, hello, hello, and welcome back. I hope you all are looking forward to a good week ahead of you and have been behaving yourselves and or taking care of yourselves. Uh, actually, I can't say shit about anybody behaving themselves because I, everybody knows I fucking don't. So, you know, I hope you all have been taking care of yourselves. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hey, Yvonne, good to see you. Uh, before we get properly started with more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I just want to pop in here with a quick uh, howdy do and to remind y'all I have a Patreon where you can support me if you so choose or not. It's fine. Um, oops, wrong button. This is what I want. There we go. Um, the, uh, uh, what was I saying? Patreon, right. Patreon, a way you can support me if you so choose or not. It's your call. I'm fine. However, um, it would help, but it uh, I won't hold it against you no matter what. <clears throat> or you can just go to the link tree on screen. Um, I'll basically, check check these out. <laughs> check these out. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and get back into this. Um, so, 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 so. A needle pulling thread. We've completed there. We completed there. We have complete. We have not completed there because that's that. Uh, we have completed there. We have completed there, and we have completed here. We have a Charles Darwin memory down here, which I think I'm gonna go hit um, with a big old stick. Um, and then we have we have Charles Darwin, and then we have these two, and then we have two of these dreadful crimes to do. I think we'll start off doing those. Hey, Rose, good to see you. I guess I should have fast traveled, huh? Uh, fast travel button? Actually, you know what? We're not that far away from. You know what? No, let's let let's let's go. Let's go cause some more mischief for uh, as Jacob first off. Hands in it. This may shock literally nobody, but I have BDSM by uh, Rihanna playing in my head right now. Like I said, surprising literally nobody. What? <laughs> I didn't make fun of you. I just judged you. There's a difference. Literally no one. I feel like you need to have a conversation with your partner, Rose. I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had. Ah, this way, my dear. I've something to show you. I 
drop in. Where are we going? One of Starik's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, ah, we must tear those valid. things apart. Valid, valid. A man like Starik built a world around his own desires. And so we lose the ability to dream for ourselves. Therefore, we must strike. Precisely. No matter the cost, every second of hesitation allows Staric time to build. <laughs> Keep moving. You should just never let me drive in general. He says, hoping to some to be a passenger prince. What a funk in you! You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. Do not kill anyone while placing explosives. Okay. Well. Come on. Oh. Oh, let me. Oh, let me. Fucking help. Fine. Why are you on a significant delay? How dare you? What? Nothing? Is that nothing? Look at him, all tucked away like. I didn't find shit. Don't 
Don't let him escape! Don't mind me, just pass it through. Yes! How to choke out! <laughs> I want to choke a per- I, I want to choke a bitch. In the game, I should clarify. That lad's up to no good. Out of the way! Well, I know how to- let me phrase it this way. I know how to choke people out in real life. Let me let me phrase it that way. So what you up to? Oh god. I just reminded myself of a scene from uh from the series from the TV series Girl Meets World where uh they they're confronting a bully, right? A bully who has choke slammed one of the main cast into a, a series of lockers, and they're confronting this bully. <clears throat> and uh, the bully says, "When because they, they confront the bully, and the bully lets go of the guy that he was, had choke slammed to the lockers, and the uh, the guy who was being bullied runs away. But um, the bully says, "I had a neck in this hand." I liked it. Are you my new neck? <laughs> and I'm just over here like, wow, that was an awakening for some viewers of this series. <laughs> you know? Creepy bastard. Kids show by Disney. I could moita. I don't want to moita. Please let me choke a bitch. Please let me choke a bitch. It won't let me choke a bitch. I'm not going to choke a bitch. <laughs> I mean, you do what you gotta do, Rose. You do what you gotta do. Yep, it's not letting me choke a bitch. Okay. Fine. It would be wise to keep quiet. Now we're gonna take him out back. Uh oh. His friend is coming. Let's uh We'll take him over here. Into the bushes and choke him out. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Absolutely. Letting me choke a bitch. Oop, don't fall. If you fall, you die, and then I lose the bonus. Have to start over. I don't 
you and I are going to have a quick walk. Your life. Right over here, where you are going to have a cuddle puddle with your friend. <laughs> All righty. Okay. At the place four. Place them gently. That's one. Okay. there all right now <clears throat> to get the others i have to do some uh, map clearing shall we say i won't lose you this time sure you won't Jacob, back. You do not murder in this mission. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to run into you like that. That was very rude of me. Apologies. Please only bring one of you. Please only bring one of you. Pre please only bring one of you. You are not bringing only one of you. Hey, we're gonna go for a talk. You and I are gonna go for a, go for a walk. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna walk over here into this random person's home into the dark, and then I'm gonna choke. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, little bitchy. I if his mind is affected. <laughs> no comment. All right. I didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Apologies, Jacob. That was the wrong button. Now, this guy's been stuck on the geometry for a minute, so I'm just gonna... He's fine. Don't worry. He's fine. He's just sleeping. He had too many drink... He, he had too much to drink. He's, he's sleeping it off. It's fine. Move, man. Ma'am, if he dies, it's on you. I shouldn't get too close to him. Oh. 
pedal, pedal. Oh, oh my. Bitch, you need to move. and I might let you live. You promise? It would be so easy to murder. Don't come this way. Do not come this way. You're coming this way. Yay for despawning corpses. There goes my cuddle puddle. To choke a bitch, I want to choke a bitch. I want to choke a bitch. Turn around, please. He's here. How about you? I have him. Do you? You deserve a vicious death. Aw, how sweet of you. Did you hear her? She just said the sweetest thing that anybody's ever said to me. That I deserve a vicious death. <clears throat> Do not move. Shh. Not one word. You know what, ma'am? You know what you look like you need? Some sleep. Oh, geez, that was some interesting physics. Yeah. 
What are you doing? Nothing. I need to go the other way. Okay. What's happening? Who I are you? Hurt you? Don't think I won't. friends now, aren't we? Looks like bother to me. Oh, wait, no. I should do this. Go over here. Let him investigate. Where were we? What the devil is going on over there? Don't worry about it. Not your problem. I'm coming for you. Not your problem either. And done. Stand back! Ready! Wait! Whatever for? There are children in there. <laughs> Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon, you will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light him up, boys! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth. No, we're not. Hey, look, the consequences of his actions. Kate, gotta put you down for a second. So I gotta open this. Out you get! Move quickly! No time to idle! Move, 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 move. One. Fuck.
kid. Hey, look, the consequences of his Again, actions. Sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, <clears throat> that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. The dead bird that had been in his cage. Train safe is full. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that, then we'll go kill Maxwell Roth. Which is what Jacob should have done in the first place, but shrug emoji. <clears throat> Progression log real quick. Uh, progress tracker. Yes, that's the one. Yep, 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 yep. Locate and Moida. Maximum Dracula. <laughs> the schematic for Maximum Dracula. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how much Dracula? It's Maximum Dracula. One second, y'all. There we go. All right. We're going here. I didn't need to swing by that store there. The train safe is not full. I just emptied it. If you 
Alright, anyway, where was I going? This way. There it is once again, the Maximum Dracula. All right. Time for some Maida. The Alhambra. Or as Jacob says it, the Alhambra. Okay, so there's an usher. Broth is wearing a mask. Oh. Maxwell Roth. Explore the area, identify opportunities. There's an usher, a waitress, and a machinist. Um, the usher affords a stealth opportunity, waitress is an assistance opportunity, and the machinist provides a unique kill. Easy entry to the theater, find it find a mask and join the group. Loot a mask from Roth's guard near the music hall. Oh, Lizzie. Do you tell me where I can find one of those elegant masks by Masks only. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is masks only. When will the doors open? I will escort the next group into the theater shortly. At this entrance, please. What a peculiar fellow. Looks like a mess in Oh, oh. Apparently, this hasn't gotten me my masks. Okay. The doors will open shortly. Please don your mask. Wait a second. I have an I have a thought. Hold on. Do you two have masks on? 
hard to tell. I don't think they do. Oh, no, they do. Okay, they do. Okay. Let us, um... Here we go. Everyone ready? Then let's proceed. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, Corvus the Trickster. For one night only, a very special performance. Alhambra Theater presents Ezio. While some of the effects may be visceral and Aww. highly disturbing, he had a play alarmed, about people. him. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of the Ballad of, of the Buccaneers, and that's very clearly Edward and crew. Any Edward and complaints may be uh, Mary Reed and Blackbeard <laughs> and such. Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. Okay, I need to find the machinist. Unless I've missed that chance. I think I've missed that chance. Your wife is a rare gem, that one. I do admire her bravery. What happens if I reload checkpoint? Just curious. About Ezio? Probably. Almost certainly. <sighs> Though I will say that the woman that he was painted with in that image was, uh, God, I don't remember her name, Christina, I think, which was the first, and, which was his first and true love. Um, the others were exercise. Yeah, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart memory. I think I I think I blew it with the uh, other things. <laughs> no, that's that's not that's not fair. Because Katarina Sforza was very much more to him than uh, than exercise, though he was very much only exercise for her, stress relief. Um. Yeah, it's not like he sprints around the entirety of Italia. All right. All right, let's try to find the machinist and let's let's look around before we go in. Basically. <clears throat> Shocker that that's a thing. Okay. So we know we need to get a mask for the front door. See here, are there any other ways, not in, but any other 
people involved out here. No. Okay, so apparently I didn't fuck up. Oh no, my 10% experience boost has expired. You know, the thing I didn't actually have, uh, didn't actually want or have or need. I'm calling Jacob Ezio now. Then let's proceed. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by! Let me out! I need to lower the grip for the show! Okay, do not use we ranged weapons to kill the decoys. Here. A big round of applause for this brave, brave man. Waitress, poisoning opportunity. Get closer to get close to the pitcher. Speak to the waitress to poison her pitcher. Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. You lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? <laughs> will our honored guest go unharmed? Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks. Oh my God, that's I got too close. Uh, checkpoints. <clears throat> I got too close. Right you are, Mary. I ate 
need this gold. We have a job. volunteer. I should be up there. Excuse me, love. The just looking for the lavatory. Right Who's over there? Right Thanks. There. What's he doing here? Hey, Our volunteer is running. about to die for you, Jacob. Is it not? Oh, 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 oh. Will our honored guest go unharmed? We British are a hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. What a thrill! They want another Do not fret, there. my friends. It's all part Mr. of the Rock show. Me up there. Please Who's stay with us as we prepare for the next turn. <laughs> I need to get down to the machinist. Intensifies the second time. The hunt now a search for want rather than need. Run like a rabbit. It's your only chance. We found a suitably flat headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. No doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friends. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Oh, shit, I'm not ready for it. Please, don't. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Unlocks a unique kill. The machinist manages. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump that. Manages the rafters above the stage. Free the machinist to make him lower the rafter. Okay. 
Okay, so I have to kill that guy over there. Okay. Alright, let us... Hey, Mr. Roast. Bit of a rough bit. If he's not wrath, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. Well, we weren't quite expecting that. How thrilling it is when life surprises us. I am not finished just yet. Stay right where you are, and the show will continue shortly. You prefer tragedy to comedy. I knew you had exquisite taste. That's a daisy. Tom Watchley. Rafter has been lowered. Okay. Nick. There we go. This trick, ladies and gentlemen, we have found a most courageous volunteer. Keep your Run. knees up, mate. Show yourself. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 See what you did there. Darling, what a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? 
Snap the baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? <laughs> Damn this place from hell to Hackney. Right? That's what I would have done, but then they wouldn't have been able to do that whole uh, confessional scene with where the guy kisses him. <laughs> Gematic unlocked. Maximum Dracula. And you know what this means? We're entering the end game. Order has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupane has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. Prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. 
Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for old time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Well, first Such off. an unexpected delight to visit you both. <laughs> what is oh. the news on the street? God, Mrs. Trady, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills. To commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. I love how confused they are. Okay, so first things first. What the fuck is Maximum Dracula? Ooh. Okay. Let's craft it. Craft. Now, let's also upgrade it, because we have the money. Okay, so, I had been wearing this one, but I might put this one on, because this one's very Jacob. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any better belts than that one. I do need to change his weapon, though, because he's no longer wear wielding a kukri. Or, he no longer has a kukri bonus, so let's just do this one. Um... The nerve oh, of Evie. Treating me like a child. Don't act like one, worth a fucking bitch. The nerve of her treating me like a child, but don't act like one. God damn. But like, I'm trying to get a good, I'm trying to, come, come on. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Look at that coat. That is indeed what one would call Maximum Dracula. If I come over here, does she have anything to say? Dressed in sartorial splendor. Access souvenirs. Crucifix, pocket watch, and red rose. The districts appear to finally be in some sort of order. Well done, brother of mine. Tokens of three te key Templars we removed from the London boroughs. You're looking particularly lethal, Jacob. Thank you. All right, now then. Okay, so. Where am I going? Where is my... Gladstone's house. Yes, where, though? Ah, over there.
Fellas, how y'all doing? Walk on, girl. Actually, hold up. I just had a thought. Uh, outfits, because we can dye outfits. Do we not? Colors, that's what I'm looking for. From the no color, we have violet, fuchsia, midnight blue, crimson. Uh, I wish you could rotate the body, but you can't. Uh, steel gray, which is the closest you'll get to the actual assassins white and red. Uh, black, wine, green, gold, beige, taupe, forest green, beige and blue, Ubisoft blue, teal, and no color, which is their standard. Okay. Hey, fellas. Let me drive. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. I did not say to take off, horse. Chill. Alright, now, everybody's aboard. Doing now fine, we go. Girl. Don't kill any cops. But why? Stay here. That will be all. Now where can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now. I did, sir. One was a man with, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. Steady on. 
private party event. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you're immediately going to work to look here, aren't you? This is why London's gone to the dogs. Silence I'm just gonna borrow you for a second. You live. Oh, my God. 
And there we go. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been. But still. I love that he's kicking himself over things. Dracula. Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. chance. One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Patience. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Steady on. Walk on, girl. Let's go. That's a girl. Slow down. Sounds a bit wider than I want to push past on this. That's at that the point. way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Easy, girl. Easy. Doing fine, girl. Who's a good horse? You are. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Accidentally minimized the game when I lifted my hand. The Devil's Handshake Schematic. Alright. Uh, crafting gear. Oh, unfortunately, I currently have a better glove, but I, I feel like this one's my favorite design out of out of all of them, out of all of the ones in this game. I don't know, I like the I like the red back actually. And the legendary one is pretty cool too, but I don't know. Anyway. Point is. Alright. Are we currently in the middle of a mission? No. Alright. I have to run to the bathroom, so we're gonna take a brief intermission. Uh, I'm gonna do that and then we'll do some of the side missions. Clear those out, and then we'll, and then depending on time, we'll keep going with the storyline. But I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
we're back. So first things first, I want to do this. And of course, we're going to do it as the superior Fry Twin. Hold on a second. I have to check something. Ah, yes, right. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, but I just I, I doubted my memory of something. Um, okay. Anyway, uh... We could have them both dress as Master Assassins, but I like the Aegis more. Because it's... It gives bon better bonuses and it gives, um... The invisibil- uh, the bonus to the invisibility thing. Also, it looks fucking cool. Um... We're at 94% total synchronization. Um, just to do a quick rundown of, la of last bits, I have only one perk left to do, which is this Road Rage perk. Um, I have all the secrets of London, we're at 73% of Eevee's notebook, 100% um, of World War One done, 100% of Conquest activities, um... So, oh, uh, overall progress tracker, you know, as you can see here, uh, just, let's see here, one, three more Charles Darwin's, uh, an unknown thing here, this here, and these, the last two of these. So, that's our goal as well as these royal correspondents to pick up. And since we are now in this district, that is our goal for stuff. Um, I know where all the royal correspondences are. They're these little envelopes uh, on map right here. Uh, so we're going to pick those up while we're running around doing other things. Let's go get the co royal correspondent before we talk to Mr. Darwin. This right here. Oops, wrong thing. What am I looking for? Database, that's what I'm looking for. Correspondence between Queen Victoria and various people. October 14th, 1867. From the Queen's Journal, General Grey asked to see me when I came in, and said he was sorry to alarm me, but must show me a telegram from Mr. Hardy, reporting that the Mayor of Manchester had informed him, of having the news from a reliable source, that the Fenians had to- I'm not going to read all this. It's not, like, important story lore. It's just flavor. So, like, if you want to read it, you can. You can go back and pause it and read it. Ah, my young friend. How good it is to see you. Fortunate, really. 
It yeah. would appear a highly toxic plant, which has the extraordinary effect of making people quite delirious, has been found in this very park. Yet as far as modern science is aware, no such plant exists. I fear the good people of London might be in danger. Will you investigate? Of course. Shoot and kill a Templar inside the flower's pollen. Hmm. Not your average flower. Mr. Darwin was right about these plants. Oh. I don't feel well. That's one less to worry about. It very briefly did have like mariachi horns. It did very briefly have. And it was because she was being poisoned by uh, the flower pollen. are not being released from the flowers, but from the pots. There must be something in there. An hallucinogenic concoction of some kind. Not unlike the soothing syrup, I should think. We must dispose of it, and quickly. I believe, my young friend, that I might know just the place. Who would want to poison the population of London? Who could devise such a nefarious plan? Obviously, it can't be Dr. Elliot's. I'm afraid, my young friend, that some of your enemies want their toxin returned to them. Might I suggest you position our carriage directly in front of theirs? I believe the fumes will impair their ability to drive. Well done, well done. 
fun indeed. Now we must hurry and destroy our cargo. We're almost there. I did it again. I murdered Darwin. <laughs> Oops. These poor horses. fortunate indeed. Well, I'd better run now. You will take good care of yourself, won't you? I mean, all evidence to the contrary, if we're honest. Considering I just point-blank blew up a TNT crate in front of my face. Alright. Now, where is the final Darwin? Is this it? Is this the final Darwin? No, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Love that for me. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I murdered Darwin. I failed the mission. Oh, baby, baby. safety. Miss Nightingale, do you know where they might have gone? But the policeman, he did mention a funeral. I believe I know where it is. Follow me. Poor Mr. Darwin has been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. My singing is a curse? 
My singing is a curse? I need the explanation! <laughs> I need the explanation. Please tell me. I will wait here. Oh. I mean, is that really so bad? What do you want from me? I need you to be honest with a friend of mine. Oh, you're a brash one, aren't you? Desperate times call for desperate measures. It could be worse, Yvonne. There's a very specific alternative that could be much, much worse. I need y'all to move. What's this all about? No, Rose. I was just carrying out my orders. Please, don't want to die. Have mercy. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you have taken Mr. Darwin. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. How terrible. We will need transportation. transportation um here's an unmanned carriage ma'am oh you're gonna ride side uh, right next to me okay shotgun let's go <clears throat> here now Respect, I think. Shall we? <laughs> she ain't waiting, Mac. Uh, she ain't waiting, my dear. She ain't waiting. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. <gasps> Sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you like that. very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I have seen to his wounds. They're here! Attack! Oh. 
Maybe don't break dance on the floor in your condition, my guy. My brother and I will visit soon. Meanwhile, Nightingale is getting run over in the road. Well, look who's here. We we're very worried about you, sir. We're looking spry for a fossil, sir. A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud to count you among mine. The dangers pass us. No need to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. I must insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go tell her. This is one fight I aim to avoid, sir. Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas, like people, can only thrive when they're free. log progress tracker oh we still have a couple of Dickens stuff to do okay let's go see what this is about on the ends Thank you. 
Young friend, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I need to ask a favor of you. A delivery awaits me at the docks, a very rare orchid, all the way from the island of Madagascar. But there is a problem. One of my associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. I need you to collect it for me first. Thank you, my young friend, thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. It would have been a shame to lose it. Shame indeed. Thank you. So what we got here, um,
Hello, Mr. Dickens. Ah, my dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting a Mr. Hammond. A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm actually rather busy. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Then I shan't keep him waiting. They've already told Spending. him to expect me. Off you go. Lol. Hey, fellas. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Come on. Mr. Hammond, I believe? That is correct. Evie Fry. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't Congrats. sound too eager for the happy event. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilson. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. I don't know why no one's taking you to the medical college yet.
Helps if I'm pushing the right buttons, doesn't it? From my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiancé's house? I shall deliver the sad Go news on. myself. Don't you think that's a little risky? She has never set eyes on me. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. And I want to see how she reacts to the news Thank of you. my death. <laughs> Come on, hurry up! This is taking far too long. You're going the wrong way, I'm sure of it. I'm very much not, my guy. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiance, John Hammond was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor oh, Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. I hope she's more intrigued than she is appalled. that sentiment hopefully she's more intrigued than she is is appalled and... all right fighting with browsers okay all right <clears throat> Of course he does. Of course he does. You remember that young lady I was engaged to marry before I feigned my death so that I could see what sort of woman she was? Well, I have good news. I'm now in love with her and I want to marry her after all. And I need you to help. Of course you I do. have a rather artful plan. You, playing the part of a ruffian, will kidnap her. Then you must bring her to where I am waiting. I shall leap from a shadowy corner and beat you to a pulp, thereby saving her life and winning her heart. Have you thought this through? There you go. Now, put me down somewhere insalubrious, and I shall ready an ambush for you. Somewhere insalubrious. In the Insalubrious. That's a hell of a word. Slowly now. This'll do. Looks rough enough. Off you go and nap her. She's at Waterloo Station, I believe. Oh, and make sure you play your part well. Come on. 
come on, where is the way in up here? I know there is one. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Can't change it, Jacob, who is more fitted to this role. The part of a ruffian. You're coming with me. Stop! Help! What is this? Over there. That looks like a mess I should stay clear of. to make you release me. I feel like I need to have a PSA here. Don't do this. Don't hire people to kidnap your your romance interest. Don't don't do this. This is this is bad. Don't do this. This is bad. This is stupid. This is creepy. Don't do this. One of the biggest red flags out there. Don't do this. Again, don't do this. This is a bad idea. This is I Alright, my hand slipped. Take your punishment. Ha, clearly, I am your better. Take this, you rogue. Take your punishment. But actually, I say, this is getting a little too real. Ha, clearly, I am your better. Take this. You're not actually trying to kill me, are you? This is called I'm trying. Ha, please. To make it look real. What a happy coincidence that you were here to save me. Wasn't it? And if you will allow me, my dearest Bella, I shall forever be by your side to protect you from this day forth. Come, my dear, let us be gone from this terrible place, and I shall explain all. I 
I'm certain Mr. Dickens and Mr. Darwin would like to know of their friend's good fortune. Uh, fortune, probably. Good. <laughs> Debatable. His idiocy, for sure. well that ends well our young lovers are united at last and will soon marry i too hope to meet a man who will fake his own death and arrange my abduction just to see if i can be trusted and by the looks of you they really hit it off <laughs> i must say it's all rather exciting i do love these sorts of tales it all feels strangely familiar i wonder why we should drink to john hammond and his unconventional idea of courtship indeed to John Hammond, our mutual friend. <laughs> All right, what else is out here? Does that complete the Charles Dickens stuff? It does, these two. Yep, right there. All right, that just leaves the Penny Dreadfuls, or the murders, I mean. Um, and yeah, okay. We have less than half an hour remaining of, our, of the stream, so we'll do the murders. Those could be quite diverting. I believe. Wanna do a murder? Would you like to solve a murder? My dear friend, the Ghost Club has an extraordinary case for you. Spiritualist Thaddeus the Amazing has predicted his own death at his next seance. Could you have a look? Sure, I'll have a look. Probably suicide, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Now to witness an extra ah. We have a visitor. Uh, what Could is happening here? Help! Not yet. Ah! Someone. Light the lamps! Oh, he's actually dead. It's okay, I'm totally a private detective.
Psychic's house, Thaddeus' body. His hair and clothing have been slightly scorched from the explosion. A bloody knife is stuck in his torso. Hello, miss. Janice Asquith. What do you have to say about I Thaddeus? I have no doubt that his powers were genuine. He was able to tell me of my daily comings and goings and all manner of details that he couldn't possibly have known. He certainly was going to be able to put me in contact with my sister. Your sister? I've been coming here to decide whether I should accept a marriage proposal. Thaddeus had been attempting to contact my departed sister so that she could give me advice. Thaddeus was a kind man who sincerely wanted me to make the best choice. Now what am I to do? What about the sale? I'm so sorry to lose Thaddeus. The oddest part is that he claimed all would be revealed to each of us before his death. Hmm. Hello, Dr. Wilburn. What do you have to say about that? He was that? an incredible psychic. I came to clarify some uh, personal financial matters. Bets. Got it. I don't understand what happened. He foretold his own death, but I didn't expect it to happen like this. I bet he didn't either. And you, Mr. Howard Roberts. This is so frustrating. I had a simple question but have had to come back for seance after seance, week after week. Each time Thaddeus divined a partial number from the other side, but never the entire correct number. Today he promised that I would get everything. Hmm. Bank account, probably. Ma'am? Lady Ursula? I sought him out after the death of Mittens. Mittens? Who's Mittens? Mittens is my beloved kitty cat. <sighs> She was run over by a milk wagon several weeks ago. Oh, I've been trying desperately to contact my sweet <sighs> thing ever since. I'm not well, though, and likely haven't long to live myself. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, why were you I here? I was so hoping to hear from my loved one. I'm convinced Thaddeus could have communicated Mitten's wishes to me. I must know to whom Mitten's wishes that I should leave my fortune. And now Thaddeus is lost to us. I shall never know. White people are weird, dude. Not just white people, but rich people. Rich people are weird, dude. Hello, who are you? Douglas. Nothing but a showman, really. Each week he gave a seance with all his clients present together. So many people makes everything much more dramatic. I attend Lady Ursula at these sessions. She's ailing and needs someone to help her along. I have no particular belief in an afterworld, but if it comforts my lady, I see no harm. Understood. <laughs> That's all the suspects. Now to look for, now to snoop around for some clues. What's this? What's this? A timer and a flash pot. A rudimentary timer with a char with charred remains of a fuse attached. The fuse leads to an empty plastic cylinder, apparently the container of a non-lethal amount of gunpowder to produce the recent flash of light. Okay, so a firecracker, basically. Butler. Um, actually, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Sorry, I needed to go grab a thing. Okay. All right, let us check upstairs, shall we? What's this? Client list. A list of Thaddeus's clients' addresses. There are also two columns for each client. Both columns indicate significant amounts of money per seance. The first column appears to refer directly to the client. It isn't clear to whom the second column refers. However, Dr. Wilburn is missing from the list. Paral uh, par the, the legal papers. I almost said paralegal papers. That's not no legal papers. An unsigned paper which would enable Thaddeus Smith to act as Howard Roberts's legal representative. Okay. I should return and find out about this. What this? Theatrical supply, flash pot, and eight shillings. For receipts. Yeah, he was gonna fake his death using a fake gunshot. Didn't expect to get stabbed. Old note, weathered, probably written weeks ago. I found a tramp who like who lives on the streets near one of the pigeons. They fellow the fellow smokes like a chimney, and for the price of a few cigarettes, he supplies me with all the information we need. Yep. Yep, yep. Con artist. Threatening note. For the love of God, get his signature at the next session, or I swear I will expose you. A.R. Okay. A.R. Thaddeus felt that if I signed some papers, it would demonstrate to my dead father that I had absolute trust in Thaddeus. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go check out some client houses. There's Roberts's house, Asquith's house, Lady Ursula, and there's another one over there. Let's start with... Roberts's house. How far away does Roberts live? Okay, not that far. Roberts house, Lady Asquith's house, Lady Ursula's house. Oh, so maybe it is only the three. Okay, unless there's one like in another district somewhere, which I wouldn't put past them, but no. Okay. Robert's house. I did not mean to climb in there. Come on. There we go. Excuse me. Coming in. Who are you? Anne Roberts. AR, perhaps? What can you tell me about Howard? My brother has become obsessed with some secret bank account. He inherited mm -hmm. almost all of my father's fortune, <clears throat> as well he should as the male heir, but some was locked in a secret account. I think it unlikely that it should be a significant amount. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the seance. I went along to the seances a couple of times. I thought it was a waste of my brother's time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what about this legal paper? Power of attorney to a psychic. That sounds very unusual indeed. Mm-hmm. Sorry, hold on. There we go. All right. I'm, uh, I'm gonna look around, okay? Okay. Uh, 
A Sydney newspaper clipping, dated over a year ago, mysterious death in King Street. A spiritualist who went by the name of Felix Magnus claimed that he would die at his next seance, but the outcome held even more drama. Mr. Magnus demonstrated to several clients that their closest friends and relations were swindling them via Magnus himself. Before a burst of smoke and flame ended the seance abruptly. Magnus was declared dead by a certain Dr. Fulsom, who was attending as a client. Sounds like a con artist du uh, duet here to me. Watch this. Roberts' house. Paper. Several scrawled notes. Bentland Bank A7, crossed out. Bank of Kent, 270. York Bank, A72. So they're trying to find their dad's money, it sounds like. Note added to father's will. A note appended to the father's will specifying that the bulk of my fortune is safely secured in an account, the particulars of which will be communicated by word of mouth to my son. All right. Over to Ms. Asquith's house. Hello, hello, knock knock, coming in. Hello, good sir. Her father you know about mentioned Thaddeus? this swindler to me. I understand it's because of him that my engagement has been delayed. Ah, you're the the fiance to Ms. Asquith. Colonel Asquith, tell me about Thaddeus. Never trust a man who tells you what you want to hear. He's after something. Taking advantage of my daughter's love for her departed sister. With that charlatan sister. gone, things can get back to normal. My daughter's engagement to Everett Boyd can be announced at last. Yours, her sister. Janice's eldest sister was strong-willed. Janice always followed her lead. That's why it's so sad that she asked for advice even in death. Time for Janice to think for herself. I know what's best for her. And what about this engagement? The girl of Janice's age should be married. Everett is a very sensible young man from a good family. He'll be very successful. I'm sure of it. Okay. Well, I'm a I'm a I'm a look around. See what I can find. All right. All right. Don't try to stop me. Uh, Esquit's house business letter. Mr. Everett's, Everett Boyd's business plans appear to be sound as long as he has no other pressing obligations. I believe that if your daughter accepts his proposal, the money you settle on the happy couple would mean the success of Mr. Boyd's venture and your daughter, Janice, would live a comfortable life. I should go back and ask about this. Sir, are you a piece of shit? Oh, that's not him I need to talk to. It's the sir downstairs I must talk to. Sir, sir, I must ask you, are you a piece of shit? Tell me about this engagement. Janice is a lovely creature. I would be honored were to accept my proposal. I do creature. adore her. I do adore. God, I hate him. 
I know the owner of a local brewery, and I'm convinced his business will flourish. He just needs some financial backing. Now Janice is free to be married at last. I'll invest my dowry in the brewery and make a fortune. Mm, that's not how that worked usually. Can you slap him? Mm, I can stab him. I can falsely accuse him of murder. A coat. There's a letter in one of the pockets. Boyd, dear lad. If you don't get me the money by the end of the month, you will be in a heap of trouble. The kind of trouble that hurts. Need I say more? Aha! Stab, slap, same thing. Yeah, fair. Uh, so the dowry will not be invested in a business. The dowry will be invest. It will instead be used to pay off money owed. Or possibly risked, risk more. have anything more down here no there's something outside though that i will go grab in a second but these dust asquith's house diary i have some affection for everett but i don't think my sister would approve of him she always bade me to strive for more than that which merely appears directly in front of my nose if only father weren't urging me otherwise hmm Sounds to me like Janice knows what her sister would have said. Watch out. But he's thus. Cigarettes? Cigarette butts. A pile of stubbed out cigarette butts likely left by a vagrant. One can still smell tobacco smoke. There was a tramp who was working with, uh, Monsieur Psychic. On to Lady Ursula's house. Ursula. Walking in. Hope that's okay. Hi, Miriam. My name is Evelyn Fry. I am the in an inspector looking into stuff. Uh, what can you tell me about Lady Ursula? Lady Ursula's health is not good at all. And now she's lost her cat, it's almost like she has nothing left to live for. Okay, what can you tell me about Douglas? He's been Lady Ursula's butler for years. Aww. We have plans to marry. Aww. But first, Douglas needs to put together a little nest egg. He says mm. he'll have some money soon. Oh, really? Tell me about Mittens. Lady Ursula was planning to leave her fortune to her cat, Mittens. Since the cat passed on, she's been going to that spiritualist in hopes that Mittens will tell her what to do with the money. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I'm going to look around. I hope you don't have a problem with that. If you do, I don't care. Lady Ursula's house, Boston newspaper clipping. Dated seven months ago, Medium foretells his own death. As in a stunningly dramatic final seance, psychic Roberto El Magnifico revealed that several clients were being traduced by their loved ones who had paid him to give information at his false seances. 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 How many more times can I say seances until it loses all meaning? Uh, but then, just as predicted, he will he was killed in a mysterious explosion during his final seance on news on Newbury Street. One of his clients, a Dr. Pitten Ween, pronounced him dead at the scene. The phrases traduced by their loved ones and mysterious explosion all circled in pencil. Mm hmm. 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 Now we have a pattern. Now we have a pattern. I'm going upstairs. Don't try to stop me. Ooh, what is this? Yes, I say. I found uh, a letter. I found another newspaper article similar to the one I gave you. This one is from Sydney. It appears 
We will be exposed at the next seance, just as those people were. Douglas, you got me into this. You better solve it. Ah, Asquith. Yes. Interesting article. Douglas exposed. Okay, and next one. Oh, hello. What are you? Lady Ursula's will. To Miriam, my maid, and to Douglas, my butler, I leave my sh Belling uh, Bel Belshingham, China, in thanks for their long service, to be given on their wedding day, whenever that day shall be. I leave my dear cat mittens, all my remaining worldly goods, in the hope that they bring him even a small portion of the joy he has brought me. In anguished handwriting in the margin is scrawled, whatever will I do now that my dear mittens is no more? Yes. White. Alrighty then. Alright, what we got here? What we got here? It looks like it wants me to go back here. To the psychic's house. Can do. I'm still not sure who I should accuse at this moment. <laughs> Obviously, there is a lot. There is a very tangled web being that was woven here. Very tangled web. Okay, well, let's go back to Roberts's house and see if I don't think it's at Roberts's house, um, but I'm not sure. Oh yes, it is Miss uh, Ann Roberts. Okay. I need to find the tramp. That's what I need to do. Oh, I bet I know. Hold on. I 
I believe it was outside of Asquith's house. I need to find the tramp, I think. Yes, the, the cigarette butts. Yes, here we go. Backo. me yeah some fella come by here every so often gives me a silver sixpence if i tell him everything about the folks in that house nothing unusual about him just a regular fella i've seen him go into that building over there okay thank you Hello, I'm walking in. Ah, third floor. Yes, white. Fourth floor. Yes, quite. All right, let's start here. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Several business cards for a medical doctor. All are identical, except each is printed with a different name. <coughs> Thaddeus's note. W, arrive after the others. As usual, it will deflect suspicion. Also, make certain that we get a big flash this time. They must be convinced it's, en it's enough to kill me. T the Amazing. Client files. A set of files containing disorganized details regarding Thaddeus' clients. For example, once Cat to tell her he tell her he should inherit. Uh, so that's, uh, Douglas, Lady Ursula's butler, wants him to tell Lady Ursula that the cat should inherit. Or that, uh, that the cat wants him to inherit. Janice's sister called her sissy. So when he fakes the contact from Janice, uh, from Janice's sister, it would be a sissy. Uh, the cat loved to play with Lady Ursula's teaspoons. Wants you to tell her that her sister approved of the marriage. Knows account number, needs his signature to access. Howard's father enjoyed grouse shooting. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Yes, we should. Indeed. And this is. Uh, office note. She says the account number is A72 at Kentish Bank. Okay. Back to... Not sure. Go into the doctor, and we're gonna accuse him of murder. Go into the psychic's house, and gonna solve a murder. 
go into the psychic's house and gonna solve a murder. Go into the psychic's house and gonna solve a murder. Go into the psychic's house and gonna solve a murder. Go into the psychic's house Psychic's house and gonna solve a mer. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> ah, yes, quite a few people to talk to again. Who shall we start with? Hmm. Let's start with Douglas. Uh, tell me about your you scheme. Think someone paid Thaddeus to tell my lady that a cat wanted them to inherit. Well. That would be quite a clever scheme indeed. Not really. Just skeezy. Lady Ursula, let me tell you of a scheme. I simply do not believe it. And if you're implying that my butler was paying Thaddeus, I must ask you, why would a great psychic do the bidding of a common butler? Hmm? My own Mr. sister, Roberts? paying Thaddeus off? I thought he was a bit too insistent that I sign that paper. Well, Anne is going to get a good talking to, believe you me. You believe that Everett paid Thaddeus to manipulate me? It cannot be true. Thaddeus knew all of my comings and goings. He genuinely could communicate with the world beyond. Hmm. Not so much. And you, sir. Good lord, you found the office? I admit it, then. Thaddeus and I traveled the world, bamboozling the gullible and then exposing the swindle. But his death was meant to be a fake. I have no reason to want Thaddeus dead. Quite the contrary. Hmm. Well... The one who served the most gain, or the most to lose, was Douglas, I feel, because he's actually here. Because the sister, Anne, and he had been, had learned of the plot ahead of time. He's here, the sister is not. I think she's just as guilty as he is, but I think he's the one who actually did the murder. He was going to reveal my plot. He paid the price for betraying a fellow crook. This Thaddeus fellow was rather too clever by half, but you pieced it all together very cleverly. Mr. Raymond was particularly interested in this one. He admired the duplicity of Thaddeus. It's fireball the house. Conjuring up murder. Spiritualist Thaddeus Smith routinely swindled not just his uh, clients, but his clients' his friends and families. In city after city, Thaddeus and his confederate, Dr. Wilburn, uh, lured in those desperate to speak to the, de uh, to the departed in the afterworld. But the swindlers were doubly paid. Uh, first by their clients, then by those close to them who wished to manipulate them. In such a fashion, Miss Anne Roberts hoped to gain le uh, legal authority for her brother in order to remove funds from a secret bank account. Mr. Everett Boyd wished to ensure his marriage to Janice Athquith uh, would take place in order to gain a lucrative settlement. And uh, Lady Ursula's butler, Douglas, wished to have her dead cat counsel her to leave her fortune to Douglas himself. But none of these accounted for Thaddeus's odd quirk of enjoying, of of enjoying giving a good lesson to his fellow swindlers once he'd emptied the coffers of his clients. Thaddeus then habitually exposed these manipulators for escaping before escaping by feigning his own death. This was corroborated by the supposed Doctor Wilburn, 
purporting to be simply one more client, but on this on this occasion, Anne realized the coming exposure and enticed the butler, Douglas, the only swindler present at the crime scene, to murder Thaddeus in the dark. Farewell, Thaddeus. You may now speak to those in the afterworld at your leisure. And with that, we are going to call it a night. I want to thank you all for coming for, uh, coming in and joining, uh, popping in, hanging out and all that. Um, thank you, Rose, for being the ever-present pain in my ass. And I love you for it. Um, bedtime if that's what you want. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, before we head out, just a quick reminder that I have a link tree. And in that link tree, you will find links to my socials, my Discord. It's a hard job, but someone has to do it. Exactly. And, and I appreciate you for it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, link tree with social uh, with links to my socials, my Discord, my Patreon, my YouTube, and my Twitch, as well as a bunch of other things in there as well. Um, the uh, uh, if you want to support me through Patreon, you can, but that's okay. If you don't want to, I won't hold it against you. Um, if you want, if you are watching this on YouTube. Uh, where I put my VODs a week after I stream them, uh, then please like and subscribe and comment, help out with the algorithm on that, get them maybe going around. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, uh, yeah, so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm kind of tired. I'm struggling to think straight, so I'm going to head out. But before we do that, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider Tuesday. And until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.